the Democratic National Convention, a stage set for change, a platform for voices often unheard. It was here that Pete Buttigieg stood, a beacon of progress and a symbol of evolving times. His presence alone spoke volumes. A young, openly gay man, a veteran, a husband and a father addressing the nation. His story, a testament to the changing fabric of America. Buttigieg's voice, calm yet resolute, cut through the noise of political jargon. He spoke of unity, of hope, of a future where differences are bridges, not barriers. His words resonated with a longing for a kinder, more inclusive politics. A politics that uplifts rather than divides. His speech was more than just policy points and campaign promises. It was a conversation, a heartfelt plea for a better way forward, a call to reclaim the soul of America. It was a message that transcended party lines, appealing to the very essence of our shared humanity. A better politics. This phrase, repeated throughout Buttigieg's speech, became a rallying cry, a rejection of the status quo, a yearning for something more. He challenged us to imagine a political landscape defined not by division and discord, but by empathy and understanding. He spoke of a politics rooted in shared values, values like justice, equality and opportunity for all, values that bind us together as Americans regardless of our differences. He reminded us that we are not enemies but neighbours, that our fates are intertwined. Buttigieg's vision of a better politics was not naive. He acknowledged the deep divisions within our society. He understood the anger, the frustration, the fear. But he refused to let these emotions define us. He challenged us to rise above, to choose hope over cynicism, to believe in the possibility of progress, to embrace a politics that heals, unites and inspires, Buttigieg's call for a better politics was not just theoretical, it was deeply personal. He wove his own story into the fabric of his speech. He spoke of his husband, his children, his family. A family that would have been unimaginable just a generation ago. His story was a powerful reminder of the progress we've made. A testament to the power of perseverance and the fight for equality. It was a beacon of hope for marginalized communities, a sign that change is possible. Buttigieg's personal story also served as a stark contrast to the divisive rhetoric that has become all too common in our political discourse. It was a reminder that LGBTQ plus Americans are not abstract concepts, but real people with families, dreams and aspirations. His story was a powerful call for empathy and understanding. A reminder that our differences should not divide us, but rather enrich the tapestry of our nation. Buttigieg's speech was a powerful indictment of the politics of negativity. He called out the fear-mongering, the scapegoating, the division that has come to define our political discourse. He argued that this type of politics only serves to tear us apart, to erode our shared values and to diminish our sense of hope. He reminded us that while there is much to be concerned about, there is also much to be hopeful for. He spoke of the resilience of the American spirit, our capacity for innovation and our unwavering belief in a better tomorrow. Buttigieg argued that we cannot solve our problems by demonizing each other. We cannot build a better future by tearing each other down. He challenged us to reject the politics of negativity and to embrace a more hopeful and constructive approach. He urged us to focus on what unites us rather than what divides us to engage in dialogue, not diatribe, to listen to each other, to learn from each other, and to find common ground. Section 5. The Power of Shared Values Buttigieg's speech was a powerful reminder of the importance of shared values. Values like freedom, justice, equality, and opportunity for all. These values, he argued, are the bedrock of our nation. They are what make America special. He reminded us that these values are not partisan, they belong to all of us, regardless of our political affiliation. He called on Americans to reclaim these values, to let them guide our actions, and to use them as a bridge to heal the divides in our society. Buttigieg argued that when we focus on our shared values, we are reminded of our common humanity. We are reminded that we are all Americans, united by a shared destiny. We are reminded that we are stronger together than we are apart. His speech was a powerful call to reject the politics of division and to embrace a more inclusive and unifying vision for our nation, a vision rooted in our shared values and our common humanity. Section 6. 
a vision of unity and hope. Boutigieg's speech was not just a critique of the present, it was a powerful articulation of a vision for the future, a future where America lives up to its highest ideals, a future where unity and hope prevail. He challenged us to imagine a nation where differences are celebrated, not feared. He spoke of an America where healthcare is a right, not a privilege, where every child has access to a quality education, regardless of zip code, where climate change is addressed with the urgency it demands, where opportunity is within reach for all who seek it. Buttigieg's vision was not utopian. He acknowledged the challenges we face. He understood the complexities of the issues we confront, but he refused to surrender to cynicism or despair. He challenged us to embrace the audacity of hope, to believe in the possibility of progress, to summon the courage to fight for the future we believe in. Section seven, embracing our shared humanity. At the heart of Buttigieg's message was a profound belief in our shared humanity. He reminded us that beneath the labels that divide us, we are all connected. We share the same hopes, the same dreams, the same aspirations for ourselves and our children. He challenged us to see each other not as adversaries, but as fellow travelers on this journey called life. To recognize that our fates are intertwined. To understand that we are all in this together. Buttigieg's call to embrace our shared humanity was a powerful antidote to the polarization that has come to define our times. It was a reminder that we are more than our political differences, that we are all human beings deserving of dignity, respect and compassion. His message was a beacon of hope in a time of division, a reminder that even in our darkest moments, we can choose love over hate, unity over division and hope over despair. Section eight, the courage to hope. Buttigieg acknowledged that hope is not always easy. It takes courage to hope in the face of adversity. It takes strength to believe in a better tomorrow when surrounded by darkness. But he insisted that hope is not naive. It is not a passive wish. It is a call to action. He reminded us that throughout our history, progress has always been driven by hope. Hope fueled the movements for civil rights, for women's suffrage, for LGBTQ plus equality. Hope has always been the driving force of change. Buttigieg challenged us to summon that same courage, that same determination to address the challenges of our time. He reminded us that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice, but it only bends if we bend it. His speech was a powerful reminder that hope is not a luxury, it is a necessity. It is the fuel that powers our movements, that sustains our spirits, and that ultimately leads us to a better future. To Section 9, A Call to Action Buttigieg's speech was not just a call for hope, it was a call to action. He challenged each of us to do our part to build a more just, equitable and compassionate society. He reminded us that change does not happen overnight. It requires sustained effort, unwavering commitment and a willingness to fight for what we believe in. He urged us to organize, to mobilize, to make our voices heard, to vote in every election from the local to the national level, to hold our elected officials accountable, to demand better from our leaders and from ourselves. Buttigieg's message was clear. We cannot be bystanders in the fight for our future. We must all be active participants in the struggle for a more perfect union. Our democracy depends on it. Section 10, building a brighter future together. Buttigieg's speech concluded with a powerful message of unity. He reminded us that we are all Americans regardless of our differences. We all share a common destiny and we are all responsible for building a brighter future together. He challenged us to reject the forces of division and to embrace a spirit of cooperation and collaboration. He reminded us that our diversity is our strength and that we are capable of achieving great things when we work together. Buttigieg's vision of a brighter future was not just aspirational, it was a call to action. A call to build bridges of understanding, to heal the divides that separate us and to create a more just and equitable society for all. Section 11, the enduring power of hope. In the end, Pete Buttigieg's speech at the Democratic National Convention was a powerful testament to the enduring power of hope. It was a reminder that even in the face of adversity, even when surrounded by darkness, we can choose to believe in a better tomorrow. His message resonated with millions of Americans who are hungry for a more hopeful and unifying vision for our nation. It was a message that transcended party lines and spoke to the very soul of our nation. 
Buttigieg's speech was a reminder that hope is not a passive wish. It is a call to action. It is a belief in our collective capacity to create a more just, equitable, 